My name is Maria Mahani and this week's aqua tip is using the noodle and we're using it behind the back. Now we're going to use it not as a suspension tool for today's exercise but as a little bit of a resistance tool. So it's not a very tough exercise so for those clients that perhaps um, find some of the other exercises will be challenging with the, with the noodle and the pendulum, this week this one won't be so hard. So basically it's a pendulum action remembering that you're trying to get your foot back to where the other one was and you're lifting the leg up nice and high. Now, Hold the ends of the noodle, and this bit's the important bit. Make sure that the noodle is up against your lower back. So as you go from one side to the other, you move the arms across. Now, the way to make this easier, because I did say it could be an easy exercise, is that you don't need to move the arms. But where it gets interesting and more challenging is when you do add the arms to the movement pattern. And you're trying to keep that noodle as close to your back as you possibly can. Now, this will get your heart rate up for sure. You've got a lot of resistance, more than just your arms, pushing through the water, and you're still trying to go up and down, while still trying to get that hip going back to the middle. This is hard, and I've got my heart rate up. So this is how you can change it up a little bit. Every exercise can be more challenging. When my clients complain about going to a class where they didn't get a workout, I always say you could have got a workout, just need to apply yourself and never make the instructor the excuse. It's how you use the water. But of course, as instructors, it's also how we teach people to use the water. So, holding on to the hands, you do need to um, have a reasonably firm grip so that you can pull that little across. Now, remember that the toes point forwards, not upwards, so you shouldn't see this. As they look towards their foot, their eyes should be pointing directly at you and thinking about lifting up from the crown of the head. And that's this week's appetite. To demonstrate the exercise where the noodle's behind your back, and you're doing the pendulum where you're demonstrating on land, pop the noodle behind your own back to start off with, which is a good place to begin, and then create the pendulum motion. So to demonstrate this on land, it's pretty simple because it's not a very difficult exercise to demonstrate on land. It's certainly a lot harder in the pool. And as we say in Australia, you know, what's easy to demonstrate on land is hard in the pool. What's hard to demonstrate on land is easy in the pool. So that rings true for a lot of exercises, including this one. So start by demonstrating a couple of really good exercises with just your legs and the whole body so they can see the full picture. Then highlight. So I like using the concept of highlighting to make it technical references. So I'll start by doing this. We're doing pendulum, moving the noodle from side to side. Then I'll say, make sure that your foot goes back to where the other one was. Lift your legs up so your toes are pointing forwards. Now, take the noodle from one side to the other. Make sure you lift your body up to the centre. So with a lot of exercises, I tend to start from a starting point and work up or go down, depending on where the emphasis of the exercise is. This exercise, the emphasis is on getting the legs going first and then adding the arms. Some other, some other exercises, arms first and then legs. But I like to work up to the body or work down to the body rather than randomly picking points unless I'm seeing somebody's having trouble. And then that's when I'll give a specific cue. So easy to demonstrate, just get the noodle behind the body. Remember to turn side on so that you can demonstrate as well that the noodle needs to be as close to the back as possible while you're doing this exercise. And then talk about what the upper body should be feeling and what you should be feeling in your lower body, as I mentioned in the pool. And that's this week's aqua tip.